G'day, I'm George Truman and I'm here to provide you with some tips on how to save water around the home. For those of you the outdoor types with pools and gardens, the significant savings can be made. A pool can lose up to 97% in evaporation, so consider a pool cover or shade sail to reduce the evaporation. In the garden, where we use most of our outside water, considering a water-wise garden can improve your savings significantly. Composting and mulching of the garden will reduce evaporation and maintain good soil moisture. Choosing plants that are drought tolerant and can tolerate those conditions will also reduce your demand on water. A good irrigation system such as a subsurface or dripper type will deliver water direct to the plants and reduce the amount that's lost through wind and evaporation. You can install a tap timer which then allows you to water during the more efficient time of the day when there's less evaporation and less wind. It also means that if you're going to be away you can set the timer to come on automatically. Let's take a look around the house to see where you can make some savings. In the shower, a traditional shower head can use up to 20 litres per minute. Therefore if you shower for 10 minutes that's 200 litres times four people in your family you could soon use 800 litres in a shower. Consider reducing this amount by installing a water use efficient shower head. In the basin, rather than brushing your teeth or washing your hands with a tap running, consider putting the plug in when washing your hands, teeth or shaving. In the laundry, you not only use a lot of water but a lot of energy. Consider installing a front loading washing machine which uses a lot less water and energy than a top loader. In the kitchen, here we use a lot of water, rinsing plates, rinsing vegetables and defrosting food. You could consider installing a water use efficient dishwasher, using the fridge to defrost or washing up and rinsing vegetables in a bowl. Another water saving tip can be checking for leaks in the home. A slow dripping tap can use up to 10,000 litres per year. A good way to check for leaks is to ensure that no one is using any water and take a note of your meter reading. Come back in an hour's time and if it has changed then you may have a leak. You need to find this and fix it.